The question of whether boxers should lift weights is much debated. A simple answer for me is, there's a balance to be had here. We don't want to train like bodybuilders because this will slow you down and make you stiff when you're throwing punches. However, I think if you don't lift any weights at all, there are potential strength and power gains that you're missing out on. So I will schedule in three gym sessions throughout my week. I do two full body days and then one leg dominant day. The first exercise of each day will focus on strength, so that's when I incorporate my bench press, deadlift or squat. From that point in the session, I will incorporate more calisthenics and more explosive movements that better translate to boxing. So this is an example of one of my full body days. I start off with the hex bar deadlift. I actually learned this through the Boxing Science YouTube channel. So they recommended the hex bar over the normal because it takes the pressure off your lower back and makes it more leg dominant which translate well, translates to well to power in boxing. I also keep it quite low rep, I'm only doing 5 here on the first exercise of the day so I'm really focusing on upping the weight and focusing on strength. So then I move on to a body weight exercise in pull ups. Pull ups are obviously a great exercise for your back strength and I really try and pause at the bottom here to get the most out of the movement. Honestly, this is probably the best set of pull-ups I've ever done in my life, so I'm glad I got it on camera. A lot of boxers will only do bodyweight exercises, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Calisthenics is really good for overall strength as well, but you can incorporate weights like me if you want to. Mike Tyson famously never touched a weight until much later in his career, and looked how jacked he was. To be honest, I think if any exercise was a staple of any workout, it should be pull-ups. It's one of the best exercises for whatever your goals are. You can see that by this point in the set, I'm starting to struggle, but I'll keep going. <laughs> So I then move on to a shoulder press. I do this kneeling because it really isolates the shoulder joint. I also do quite lightweight. This is another one from the Boxing Science YouTube channel. So it's basically just protecting your shoulder more than you would with a normal seated um, dumbbell shoulder press or any other variation of the shoulder press for that matter. Also, I think doing exercises unilaterally, so one arm at a time, is also good for boxing because obviously you're throwing one punch with one arm at a time. So it's just trying to get as much crossover between your sessions and actual boxing as you can. So I then move on to a dumbbell snatch. This is probably the most explosive movement of the workout. It does take a while to get the technique down for this one and I'm looking at progressing to using a barbell pretty soon in the future. Basically you're pushing your hips back and obviously bending at the knees. Then you're jumping up and with your shoulder you're sort of shrugging it. So it's sort of separate as you jump and then you press it so you're not just like pushing it above your head you're jumping and shrugging at the same time so it's also teaching that coordination in movement like all Olympic lifts do you're also bringing in your core strength a lot with this one especially when you're holding it at the top there so I then move on to using the landmine punch or landmine press whatever you want to call it so you can clearly see how this would translate to boxing and I'm pretty much literally throwing a punch and I'm also twisting with my feet, which translates really well. This one, you're really focusing on your speed. I think I'm just using an empty bar here. Um, I did do a set with some weight on it as well, but I think this explains it better, just with the speed element. Yeah, so here it is with the weight as well. And you can see how I'm really going for like maximum power on each rep. So this is the last exercise from the workout. So I hope you enjoy this video, feel free to incorporate these exercises in your own workout and come up with your own plan to best suit you for boxing.